um, you know, you, you go to some events and they say group A, this, and group B, that, and group C, this. And so some of us live our lives grouped. All right, so my friends like to go on in Zen. That is a group of friends that I would find myself identified with. Or my friends like to smoke weed, and so that is the kind of friends that can help me because when I want a weed, I know where to get it. Or these friends here, they really want to like to drink and they, 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 they have real exquisite taste. They are the Corbusier and they are the Hennessy and they are the this and they are the that. But that is another group that we can find ourselves identified in. Or I want to be known, or, or I want to be um, grouped as those who have rare girls. So I want to be grouped within, the, within, within those identified as girls men. Or there's another group that has been identified as those who are estranged, who has called themselves gay. And those who feel that righteousness is, should be established in the center of their sin. And I want to say that that is another group but I want to say there's one commonality in all of these groups is that there's a fundamental similarity sin. Amen. Sin. What about those who would be grouped as they to seek God? When the children of Israel went before God, while they were separated into different services and they were separated into different parts of the same work, they all came together. They all loved each other. Where is the love, people? That is one thing we need to understand. If, for some reason, there is the absence of love, most importantly, God doesn't exist there. If what we say doesn't move upon our hearts, you know, if it is that we say, if, if we look at our brother, the Bible, the word says, if you go to your brother to preach a message and you be hungry and you can do something about it, I'm just putting it in my terms, or you have two bread or two coats or two shoes and there is a need, meet it, meet him at the point of his need. Jesus met each and every one of us at the point of our needs. But what we, some of us do, another group, is that we separate ourselves. We say, you know what? I will give you the word, but I will keep my money. Or I'll give you this and I will keep my bread. Today, Jesus has, has, has withheld nothing from us. Amen. He has given us, most importantly, a living truth. Amen. And not only is it rooted in this world, but he has showed us the, the way to go. He has walked this walk for us. But yet some of us are saying, not me, I'm not ready yet. I know about God, but I don't want him right now. Or I will fix myself before I allow him into my life childishness you know and some of us who would, who would grow up in, in the truth you know we, we, we our, far, our, our parents at least i know my parents always taught me elijah the word of god measure it by the word study your word drink your word for tea eat your word for for, 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 for lunch not a roti all the time sometimes you have to set aside the roti or the appetite for the things that we, 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 we've grown accustomed to and move to a place of what is, is best for us or what we, we are not too familiar with because he said he will help us. They that know that God shall be strong. We're walking around looking as if he's strong. Most of us have a lot of big muscles. We're spending so much time in the, in, in, in the gym. But two bullet pass, we, 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 we're crying out to God. We flat on the ground. Are we really strong? We walk up some some streets and we shaking.